Citizens, it's that time you're officially in the Alert Zone. Welcome to the Alert Zone TV. No words of Uncle James. I would love for you to become an active citizen. You guys and girls already know how to do that. With that being said, uh, got the PPQ 5 chambered in 9mm. Safe control environment, all that YouTube stuff. Mag loaded. Got the 15. Plus 12 to 27, chamber and nine. And I wanted to talk about something because this came across my feed this morning and then I just heard it about it again. And I had forgot to jot this down in my notebook. But it turns out in the last month, Travis Kelsey and Patrick Mahomes' homes have been burglarized. Uh, they haven't given all the details. I know they said that in Travis Kelsey home, I think over 20000 in cash was taken. Uh, no telling what those guys have in their homes that's priceless. That's going to be for sale on the black market. But I wanted to talk to everybody about these high-end heists that I call them. And how this has become a pattern across the country. Nobody's immune from crime now. It has spread it to the point. Now... We all know that in some of these really upscale neighborhoods, these are inside jobs. Uh, you even got people that have been victims of these robberies in these two and three and four million dollar homes saying, nah, they knew where to come. They knew what to get. They knew what was where. Yeah, this, you know when it's an inside job. A lot of these are inside jobs. But I wanted to say... To everybody out there, you got to be legally armed wherever you are. The whole thing of, while well, I live in a gated community, i give you an example. So, in New Orleans, I used to live on 1st Street in between Daniel and Barone. You walk two blocks up the street, it was like a totally different neighborhood. Carondelet. Once you hit Carondelet in first, on until you get to around Magazine, or a little bit further than Magazine, all the way back. It's an area called the Garden District. They had that New Orleans private patrol. Uh, was armed security that would patrol at nighttime. That's all they did was patrol the Garden District. Which was part of the reason in that area crime was so almost unheard of in the sense of violent crime because people still get high and all that so yeah, I told you guys drug dealers hide in plain sights Every, the dude standing on the corner ain't the only drug dealer where you think they get their dope from in these neighborhoods but nevertheless they had NOPD plus their own private patrol that the basically the citizens it wasn't gated but the citizens paid for it because those guys had money. You go down Tulane, I mean, St. Charles Avenue to the Audubon Park, the Audubon area by Loyola and Tulane, and you have the Audubon place back there. Another gated community that had uh, armed guards. Now you have these home invasions and these burglaries in these high-end areas across the country. Listen to what I'm telling you. It's inside jobs, and now you got these international crime rings here. These international crime rings are not playing. They're not coming here to go in the hood. They're coming here. They're renting Airbnbs. They got all kind of technology. They're doing all kind of reconnaissance. A lot of these cleaning ladies and gardeners and stuff giving these people inside tips. And now the rich starting to get their butt knocked off now. Also, shout out to the Millsaps majors. You had a Milwaukee Bucks player about a week or two ago get his home broken into while he was in the game playing. This was an inside job. 
Everybody knows that. I keep telling you guys when it comes to these upscale crimes, this stuff has always went on in these upscale areas. It's just never been reported about. Remember, Eric and Lyle Menendez, before they went to prison for killing their parents, was robbing houses in them upscale neighborhoods that they lived in because they knew the people was gone and they knew the people. Let this be a lesson to everybody. None of us is immune. Thank goodness he survived. With all the Secret Service and all the protection Donald Trump has, he was shot in the air. And almost could have had his head blown off in real time. None of us are immune. But in these upscale areas, you guys and girls better start paying attention to who you let in your house. It's not a coincidence. You guys and girls are going and it's happening. These people know where to go. Hit me in the comment section. Let me know what you think. Until next time, stay safe, stay armed, stay on high, high alert.